Welcome, welcome back again to another Thornhip video. Here we are back at my base and more changes. This is going to be a little spotlight, a quick spotlight of things that we're doing. An extra door here. This used to be the waterfall, now it goes down to the uh, plumbing system. And this is much the same, just uh, nothing to see back there, just pipes. Of course, that used to be where my storeroom was, so the first thing you're going to notice is nothing there. We have a convenient little switch that says storeroom access. Oh, I heard that. You didn't hear that, but I heard that. <sighs> there we go. That's hidden stairs. Not complete. I mean, I've got uh, issues here I can't resolve because there's... Again, even though I lowered my my the floor down here, there's still only two full blocks of material and half steps between the floors. So, I mean, not much you can do about that. So here we are, my nice big storeroom. Got all the convenience here. I got a uh, cactus farm back here, which uh, just like little compact design. Yeah, and those note blocks, of course, to signal when uh, cactus is ready. Right next to it, I have a little quarry shuttle. I can press. I, it's not wired all the way over here, but I press the button and. Uh, from over there, and I can send it back between my uh, quarry, uh, the strip mine thing I'm doing over there and here, which is pretty much near the bottom now. I'm not going to do much more with it. I got uh, furnaces, very convenient, and uh, that's pretty much it. I really like this layout a little better. I mean, uh, compact storerooms are one thing, but uh, yeah. So over here, we got other things. I have uh, a mob, my mob grinder is more or less built. You can see it in the mini map in the corner. But uh, I still got a lot of caves to light up, so it's not doing too much. It's a, a water conveyor design, so it's pretty easy to deal with. This here's the harvest chute that runs from my new crops, which uh, with up with uh, up updated crops coming in the near future, oh, I have one on me. With with uh, updated crops coming in the near future, it'd be nice to have, you know. But I'm not sure how they'll react. I also changed this up my my water room. Got these nice little piston shuttles so it hides in the corner. And Infinite water supply. I got rid of the waterfall because it was... Uh, I don't like it. Water in the corner. A little decorative feature. A little bit of water right there too. So I mean if I break this block you'll take a shower and spread water through the entire thing here. But uh, I'll leave it open for now. I need another restroom torch though. Wonderful planning, I know. Went through a lot of redstone and iron doing some of this work, and oh, well, you'll see in the near future. And that, uh, so that's pretty much it there. Not much else has changed. Uh, the water you at goes through that room and goes drops down, and it uh, comes right down here from the wheat farm. So a little water supply, water uh, thing that moves it over one. This is off right now because it's noisy. It still works. I just light it when I want to use it and it connects to the old ones, so not too bad. Redid my stairs. Half uh, half slab design. It's a little longer. Takes a bit more to get up here, but uh, I like it. Had to put doors here to keep the uh, combat chickens from entering. Lowered the roof a bit because it was too high. I like this little cozy, a little bit of decorative uh, castle-like features on the top. I, had, oh, I have tons of half slabs. Rule of note, when you have an add-on, be very careful. Uh, my cat just farmed to spit on another one. <laughs> I actually hear that thing all the way in my mob grinder. It's wonderful. Rule of note, when you have uh, add-ons that uh, do full stacks, be careful whether you right or left click. So here is my farm. I think I've showed you this access before. I've got an add-on that allows me to cut wood. Yes, I know. Stone tools. I've uh, been running low on iron because of this. And we can see a little bit from over here. Yep. That would be my mob, my mob grinder. It's a fall-style mob grinder. Uh, falling on defenses with water flowing over them, which uh, should kill them but I realized they have to fall at least 112 or so blocks before they die. My first pad's only 109 above them. 
Yeah. Uh, in the near future, if I decide to lower my works, uh, my workshop, uh, the water conveyor, and everything, it will probably go down another twenty blocks. So it might help a bit. So here's my farm. Not much has changed here. The switch still opens up. Water floods. We all seen that. This is new though. Right here. When I flip the switch, it's this panel slides back underneath these half stone steps. It's uh, all one layer, so it's very easy to implement. And I'm down there, I have another sticky, another uh, pi just a regular piston down there that blocks this water from flowing. That. And it all flows over here and down into my system down there. I got glowstone down there because I didn't like the the torches when they're down there. And when I don't want it to flow down there, voila. And it works most of the way. I, I had tried different ways. I've had whole, whole steps here. I had uh, solid blocks and then half steps on top of that just to see if I can try to keep the things from do, uh, from going here. When I finish wiring everything up so I can control all this from down below, I'll probably put full st uh, two sets of glass up to where this light is and put glowstone along the bottom of it and glass on the top just so this farm's completely automated and none of this stuff will jump up onto the glass. Yeah. Always issues. Another thing I've done is the mushroom farm. Completely redone. And that. Same sort of deal. Two sets of switches. Well, three. And let there be light. <laughs> These little glowstone effects here, which... Uh, a little bit of light comes out, just enough to see. And then I have the glowstone pot lights here, which are it's a really simple design. I believe uh, Cole did he uh, was working on a mob farm that had glowstones that moved back and forth. I forget where he got that design from. And along here we have the water comes in along back here. There's uh, three sticky pin pistons here, another three over here, and they just simply drop down, let the water flow out. So I have no problem with destroying mushrooms here. The mushrooms on top of here will just pop off and flow down. I lose a few on the on up here, but. Eh, not much you can do about it. These mushrooms here will get destroyed, which is fine. But I have mushrooms that will grow right onto here. Uh, none, none at the moment here. I mean, I harvested this thing uh, last time I was playing, I harvested. But it's the same option. Flip a switch. This one here is a little simpler water collection. Uh, I only need six sticky pistons here. And the water is actually sitting just in a pocket here, and this last piston blocks it. So as soon as it opens up, the water flows out. Mushrooms flow down, and then right at this point, exactly the right length, they drop down a hole, and away we go. Pretty sweet. Very productive mushroom farm. Just about ready to harvest. In a couple seconds, I'll go up and I'll show you the circuitry. We got an inverter from the switch just so the switch operates in the right direction. I can flip the switch control up here because the light's turned on down there. Got a... Uh, I forget what the circuit's called, but... You see I got it packed in quite high. I can't jump any higher. There's only... I'm very close to the surface here. There's only a little bit of earth above me. I'm, I'm tempted uh, just to remove all of this when I extend the mushroom farm. I am going to extend it. I'm going to put it, probably put it, uh, make the channels four wide, and then I'll make them four wide and extend another branch up that way. And if I do that, I'll just make a solid roof over this section. So uh, at the corner up there, I'm only like two blocks of dirt down. In fact, that just see it from here. That little bit of cobble is the edge of my uh, my wheat farm. That's pretty cool. That's more or less what I've been doing. Uh, we're going to uh, keep this video short because the next video is going to be a little longer. I'll show you maybe one more thing. A little teaser. This goes under our waterfall. It wraps around this way. Down around, much bigger space in here. I'm still not completely satisfied with the design, but... Uh, We'll work on it. There's a lot of room to even make it lower, so it, it works out well. And then we've got this here, which we'll have to show you in the next video.